Hey tech lovers, welcome to UTC AI Studio. Imagine an AI that's not just improving at writing code, but one that can understand entire documents, follow complex instructions, and do it all faster, smarter, and cheaper than ever before. Today, we are diving into OpenAI's latest innovations, GPT-4.1, GPT-4.1 Mini, and GPT-4.1 Nano. These aren't just upgrades, they're game changers in the world of AI. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's with all these different versions, GPT-4.1, Mini, Nano, and how do they compare to things like GPT-4.5? Is it just marketing hype or are there real differences? In this video, we're going to break it all down and explain why these versions exist and what makes each one unique. So stick around till the end so you don't miss any details. Let's dive in. Before we dive into what makes these models special, let's get one thing straight. First things first, when OpenAI says GPT-4.1 is available through the API, it basically means that developers and companies can now plug this brainy AI into their own apps, websites, or tools. Think of GPT-4.1 as a super smart friend who can write, code, summarize, answer questions, or even generate images. And now instead of just chatting with this friend on OpenAI's website, you can bring them into your own project like building a chatbot, a writing assistant, or even a coding buddy inside your app. This magic happens through something called an API, which is just a digital bridge that lets your app talk to GPT 4.1 and get responses. To better understand, think of a waiter in a restaurant. He acts like an API who is a bridge between the customer or user with the menu and the kitchen or system, which is a processing location. The waiter behaves like a messenger by taking the request and bringing back the response. And the best part, Pretty much anyone with a developer account at OpenAI can use it. You don't have to be a coding wizard. Just sign up at platform.openai.com, grab your API key, which is like a secret handshake, and start building cool stuff. From startups to solo developers, tons of folks are already using this tech to power smarter tools and experiences. Now, does it cost anything? Yes, GPT-4.1 uses pay-as-you-go pricing, based on how many words you process. But the good news is it's faster, cheaper, and way smarter than older versions. And if you're building something lighter, there are mini and nano versions that are even more budget friendly. We'll break all that down in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Now let's break down exactly how these new models are reshaping the landscape. First up, coding. Now we all know that writing code can be a bit of a roller coaster. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But with GPT 4.1, it's like the AI version of an expert coder who never sleeps. It's not only more accurate, but also more efficient. In SWE Bench Verified Testing, GPT 4.1 scored 54.6%. That's 21% better than GPT 4.0 and 26% better than GPT 4.5. To put that in perspective, this means that GPT 4.1 can write code that passes tests with fewer errors. It's also better at exploring code repositories and fixing issues. And when developers put it to the test, they preferred the website's GPT 4.1 created 80% of the time compared to previous models. That's a huge win for front-end development. What's even more impressive, GPT 4.1 reduces unnecessary edits in the code. Whereas other models might make extraneous changes, GPT 4.1 slashed that number from 9% down to just 2%. It's like a cleaner and more precise coder that really knows how to keep things neat. Now let's talk about one of the trickiest parts of AI, following instructions. We've all had those moments where an AI gives you results that don't quite match what you asked for. Well, GPT 4.1 is here to fix that. Whether it's following ordered instructions, dealing with negative commands, or even handling content requirements, this model does it all with precision. One area where GPT 4.1 shines is in ranked instructions. This is a game changer when it comes to making sure AI doesn't miss the details and you get exactly what you need in the right order. And get this, GPT 4.1 improved by 10.5% over GPT 4.0 in multi-challenger benchmarks. It also achieved an impressive 87.4% on IFEVAL accuracy, up from GPT 4.0's 81%. These aren't just stats on paper, they mean better, smarter apps in the real world that actually follow your instructions the first time. But the real breakthrough, context processing. This is where the models really flex their muscles. Imagine being able to process not just a paragraph or short sentence, but an entire book or code base. That's what these models are now capable of. 
GPT 4.1 Mini and Nano can handle 1 million tokens. That's over 8 full copies of the entire React code base. With this kind of context capability, AI can process large chunks of information without losing the plot. Whether you're analyzing a giant dataset or reading a lengthy contract, these models keep track of the context, which means better results. So what's all this tech talk actually doing in the real world? Let's look at some real world numbers. Windsurf, they saw a 60% improvement in internal coding benchmarks. This means their team is now coding faster and with fewer errors. Thomson Reuters, who's been using these models for legal reviews, got a 17% improvement in accuracy for multi-document reviews. If you're a lawyer or someone dealing with complex contracts, that's a pretty big deal. And it gets even better. Carlyle, a financial firm, saw a 50% improvement in extracting financial data from documents. This is crucial for making fast data-driven decisions. Even BlueJay, which specializes in tax law, reported a 53% improvement in their accuracy for handling large documents and difficult tax scenarios. So, while these models may sound like tech jargon, they're actually transforming industries in ways we didn't think were possible until now. And let's not forget the vision side of things. GPT. 4.1 Mini is absolutely crushing it on image benchmarks, recognizing and interpreting visuals better than even GPT-40 in many cases. And if you're into video, you'll love this. GPT-4.1 now leads the pack in understanding long-form video content. It scored 72% on video MME, leaving GPT-40 way behind at 65%. That's like giving your AI a memory for movies. Alright, let's talk about the bottom line. Cost. Now, these models aren't just powerful, they're also more cost-efficient. GPT-4.1 is 26% cheaper than GPT-40 for median queries. And GPT-4.1 Nano is not just the cheapest, but also the fastest. So if you're looking to keep cost down, this is the model for you. Let's see prices once. GPT-4.1, $2 per million tokens for input, $8 for output. GPT-4.1 Mini, $0.40 cents for input, $1.60 and 60 cents for output. GPT 4.1 Nano, 10 cents for input, 40 cents for output. Also, the cached input prices have dropped even further with discounts reaching 75% on input and even more for batch queries. And it's not just developers and businesses that benefit. These models are also top-notch for academics. GPT 4.1 scored 90.2% on MMLU and 87.3% on multilingual MMLU. This shows that whether you're dealing with technical, creative, or language-based tasks, these models are built for excellence. And in math reasoning, they scored a 48.1% on the AIM 2024 exam, making them one of the strongest performers out there. So there you have it. GPT 4.1, Mini, and Nano aren't just fancy names. They represent a smart move towards flexibility, speed, cost-saving, and purpose-driven AI. Whether you're building something massive or just need quick and snappy responses, there's a version tailored for you. As GPT 4.5 steps aside, 4.1 steps up, not just as a replacement, but as an upgrade in performance, efficiency, and scale. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by all the AI versioning jargon, I hope this video helped clear the fog. Because let's face it, the future of AI is not just about bigger models, but smarter choices. If this breakdown made the world of AI a little clearer, do share a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it with your curious friends, and subscribe to UTCI Studio. This is where creativity meets code, one byte at a time. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.